in the spotlight from day one. Cupid brought $900,000 at Keeneland's September. You can't go wrong with Tappet. I mean, he's a monster sire, and, and he's probably going to be a sire of sires, too. And um, Cupid showed freakish ability early in his career. He first demonstrated his brilliance with a five and a quarter length success at Santa Anita. Cupid will graduate today, just bounding through the stretch and pulling clear with authority. Cupid gallops. Because he was in Bob Baffert's barn, I watched Cupid from early on in his three-year-old year and from breaking his maiden if it then going on to the Rebel at a mile and 16th, he, he struck me as a classic distance type horse. It's Cupid or Whitmore to the wire. Cupid on the inside. Whitmore trying to get past on the outside. But Cupid has something in reserve. And Cupid wins the Rebel. He was so much the best in that race. It, it, it was a freakish victory. And it was one of the reasons that made uh, Cupid a horse to really keep an eye on. Cupid, we really first caught the eye when he won the Rebel Stakes as a three-year-old over two good horses, Whitmore and Creator. And then later in the year, he took a pair of grade twos, the Indiana Derby and the West Virginia Derby. Um, in the West Virginia Derby, led all the way in one by four lanes. But it's Cupid well clear, and it's Cupid's West Virginia Derby. Cupid all the way, wins by five. Yeah, it, it takes a, a pretty talented individual to be able to ship and win on a, on a, on a, on a consistent basis like he did, and so, um, but you know the main the main thing that he has going for him is is you know when you have natural speed like he does and yet he you know he has gears that, that to go on. At three, Cupid always looked like a horse who had a breakout performance in him, um, and that came in his four-year-old season. Uh, off an eight-month layoff, he took the Santa Anita Gold Cup, showed some tactical versatility. He came from off the pace this time, uh, won by over three lengths, and beat some good horses like Hard Aces, Midnight Storm and American freedom. Cupid on the outside has reached a one length lead at the eighth pole. Make it three as the grey dashes past Midnight Storm. Follow me, Crib doing a tremendous job as running home to second. Cupid's the leader. Cupid in front of Follow me, Crib. Cupid with a gilt edged lead in the gold cup. Baffert, off this layoff of eight months, produces Cupid to a great win. To come off a extended layoff like that and beat some really nice horses in a grade one was pretty, uh, Pretty remarkable. As a racehorse, Cupid won stakes races at one mile, at a mile and a sixteenth, at a mile and an eighth, and perhaps his very best race was at a mile and a quarter when he won the Gold Cup at Santa Anita, earned a buyer speed figure of 108. Thought he would be effective at the Triple Crown distances, uh, and he surely did show it by topping off his career with the best performance of his career in the Hollywood Gold Cup at a mile and a quarter. A son of Tappet and blue hand mare pretty and smart. It will be no surprise if Cupid has a major impact as a stallion. Cupid sire Tappet has made a, a remarkable rise from an, starting an inexpensive stud fee. Um, he's become the dominant sire in North America. He's led the leading sires list for three straight years now, set a new earnings record each time and his commercial standing can be appreciated by, if you look at this year's, uh, the 2017 September sales, the first day Tappet yearlings averaged over a million dollars, including 2.7 million for Cupid's full sister. Cupid's damn pretty and smart. She was a very precocious runner. She was grade two placed at two. She's been a remarkable producer. She's already produced four stakes winners, three of which have been graded, including um, two very fast fillies, uh, Hart Ashley and Ashley's Kitten. And having a son of Tappet that's as accomplished as Cupid has been at stud is, is going to be extremely popular.